Katherine Strickler. I teach chorus at King Creek. I am honored to, to be chosen by my peers as a teacher of the year at King Creek. Uh, honestly, we have lots of fantastic teachers who would have deserved an honor just as much as I did. So um, I'm appreciative that, that people see the choral program as something that is important and then they value um, what I do and what the students do in chorus at Cane Creek. There are a lot of things that I really appreciate about Cane Creek. Uh, one of those is the students. Um, we have a great student body and more than anywhere else that I've been, uh, I think that we have a number of students that are willing to put forth extra effort to succeed. Another thing that I really like about Cane Creek and just the general community is the appreciation for the arts and the faculty here. From the minute I walked in to Cane Creek, the first day, I felt welcome. I had a bad day one day, and I remember that someone else heard about that somehow, and they brought me a candy bar and said, you know, I heard that you might be having a bad day. I think you deserve this. And that, even little things like that meant a lot to me, and I think it's a great place to be. I couldn't do anything I do without the support of our administrators at Cane Creek, and um, I'm allowed to make decisions that are best for our choral program that will best impact our students because I'm trusted as an expert in, in what I teach and what I do. Well, um, one of the greatest things is just being able to see students progress from sixth grade to eighth grade. It's like start them on these little folk tunes and partner songs and then see them grow um, to eighth graders who are really strong participants in the North Carolina, North Carolina Honors Chorus. And then they get to eighth grade and they're reading far more complex music and they're singing in far more parts than they started. They're learning how to sing in tune and make beautiful expressive music and that part right there is really the most exciting thing. Um, you know, I hope it will just continue to grow uh, and to continue to be an example of excellence in this community and in our state. Importantly, I hope that they start to understand that we are all connected as human beings and they're they're in class like in our classroom with people who may be different from them um, but they share a love of music and they're all I mean they're the same in that they're human beings and that they they can learn to make mindful choices that can have a positive impact on other people well uh, part of participating in, in any music program is learning to accept failure. Um, and I think that chorus is a great place to do that, not because people fail all the time, but because you have to fail in order to get better at something. So I just hope that when students leave my room, whether it be sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, whatever, that they have a greater understanding of the fact that they don't have to be afraid of failing that failure is just a part of life and that in order to get better at something, in order to succeed as you grow and mature, you have to fail and just understand what it feels like and that it's a part of life.